Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer writing in with a question about the Canon 90D. Now, let me just preface this by saying, yes, the Canon 90D is at the moment vaporware. <laughs> One of the terms I like to use when we're talking about a camera that hasn't even been announced and it's only rumored. We do expect to see one. Uh, you know, we've had the that lineup of camera, the 80D, 70D, 60D, 40D, 50D, 40D, and so on and so on and so on. It's been around for a long time. I can't imagine Canon not giving us a 90D down the road, possibly, or it'll just turn into a mirrorless. Uh, we could end up with a 90D that is mirrorless. But I do see us getting a replacement for the 80D. I do see a 90D coming. I think it's still too early in the game for Canon to eliminate the 90D as a DSLR in their lineup. So Michael's writing in. He says, I'm a watcher of your videos, and I love the information that I receive. My question has to do with the possible Canon 90D. What have you heard? What are the possible specs? Will it actually happen? Well, I think at this point we won't see a 90D probably this year, unfortunately. If we do, it'll be at the end of the year. I'm thinking now it'll be early next year, early spring uh, of 2019. Um, what I'm expecting is, well, I, I know what I expect and I know what I hope. And we've talked about this in previous video. You can check that out. Um, you know, an, an 80D refresh, almost a Mark II of an 80D would be fine. I would love to see a 90D with, I'd love to see a 30 megapixel sensor. I'd like to see them finally push that boundary a bit. I don't think we'll probably see that from Canon. I think we'll see, see the same 24 megapixel sensor, perhaps tweaked a little so that we have a little better high ISO, a little bit better performance, but essentially the same sensor in the 80D. We will get 4K. That will be the huge thing on the 90D is 4K. Uh, possibility we may get some type of hybrid EVF, OVF viewfinder, an optical and EVF viewfinder, electronic. Um, we're going to get the 4K. We'll have the same nice articulated, fully articulated screen um, and a few little minor tweaks and things. You know, basically maybe an updated autofocus system. Um, the one in the 80D is still very, already very good. Uh, I think that's that the, the main thing we're going to see is 4K. Um, what else we'll see out of it? remains to be seen. I would like to see, as I said, more resolution, but we probably won't get it. Um, but basically, the main thing is just a refresh, essentially an ADD Mark II in the sense it's just going to bring us the 4K. Uh, and at this point, I think we'll probably see some pretty decent 4K. Will it have the same uh, heavy crops as the M50? Quite likely, but I think it'll still be usable and pretty decent. Um, Enhancements in the dual pixel AF, they keep seeming to refine that, even though they don't always say they have. Each new camera that has dual pixel AF seems to be just a little bit better when I when I play with it and use it. So that's what I would expect to see. I would expect it to be at the same price point, maybe even come out a little bit cheaper, but probably the same price point as the ADD was introduced at. Um, but throw it back to you folks. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm on track here? You think we'll see something different in the 90D? Am I missing something that you think will be in the 90D that will be different or earth-shattering? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Let's help out Michael here. Um, and uh, I, I do think it will actually happen. Those are the specs, I think. Um, I think we're, as I said, end of year or early next year. But let me know what you guys think. Comments below. Looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Thanks for your question, Michael. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.